Okay, so I got a request from a student to talk about the allowed quantum numbers of an atomic uh, electro, um, electron. Atomic, the allowed quantum numbers of an atomic electron. You see that there? Okay. So list all possible values of the angular momentum quantum number L for an atomic electron with a principal quantum number n is equal to 5. All right, so not sure it makes sense to me right yet. So let's make some notes on this. Um, I got a new whiteboard, which is no longer white. It's now black. So let's go over here. But it's n is 5, right? And we're looking for the all possible values of the angular, angular momentum quantum number L. So if n, oops, forgot to do that. Boom, boom. If n equals 5, right? Then what are the possible values of L? Well, L is all, don't forget, is 0 all the way up to n minus 1. So in this case, n minus 1, if n is 5, is 4. So it's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Those are all the possible values of L if n is 5. OK? Now let's go back over here, make sure we understood the question correctly, and then we'll go with it, OK? List all the possible values of the angular momentum quantum number L for an atomic electron with the principal quantum number 5. Yeah, that, that was it. That was it. It was that simple. So let's go here and say 0, comma 1, comma 2, comma 3, comma 4. And let's check it and make sure we get it right. And boom. OK, let's do one more. And let's say in this case, an atomic electron, an electron in an atom is known to be in a state with a magnetic quantum number m sub l is equal to minus one. All right, not sure what that means yet. So let's go back over here. Yeah, this, I'm glad we did this the second one because this is more complicated. So we know that m sub l is equal to minus one, okay? Well, if we remember now that n is equal to, um, oops, one, two, three, all the way up to infinity, or it can be, right? These are possible values of n. L, the possible values of L are zero all the way up to n minus one. And m sub L, the possible values are, watch this, minus L up to positive L, okay? So if m sub L is minus one, then we know that the m sub l values for this are at least, right? In this case, I kind of like this black here. m sub l is in some system, it's in some atom that has a, mi oops. This doesn't have a, this doesn't have a, um, oh man, oh. I haven't figured out yet how to get rid of this, okay? So I wrote that minus one there, but it seems like the eraser would do that. All right, let's just go here. Let's go back here. I haven't figured out how to use this eraser yet. So m sub l in this system is minus 1. That means that there's minus 1, 0, and 1 possible m sub l's, right? That means that l has got to be at least 1, right? Agreed? For l is equal to 0, m sub l is equal to 0. For L is equal to 1, M sub L is minus 1, 0, and 1. For L is equal to 2, it's 2 minus 1, 0, 1, and 2, right? So that means that the smallest one that has a minus 1 in it is here, right? And so L has to be, the, the minimum L is, is, is 1. And so n has got to be, for l is equal to, it could be 2. Yeah, n is 2. Right? Why? Because, because of this rule here. We're just working our way backwards, right? So in this case, if m sub l is minus 1, then l can be either, uh, let's see, it can be, yeah, 1 or 2 or three, right? But we're looking for the minimum. Going back over here, an electron is known to have a state with a magnetic quantum number not minus one. What's the smallest possible value, right? So if the smallest possible value, we're not concerned about the two and three and so on. Let's go back over here. Where are we here? 
this is our smallest, right? And that means that uh, the smallest possible value for n is 2, right? Okay, can you see that? Because this, right, that would be 2. Okay, so I'm going to put in here, here, I'm going to put in here 2 and get green. And we're going to, let's do another one, one more. Come back over here. Like what's the smallest possible value of the principal quantum number n for a p electron? Okay, let's go back over here. New one. So, um, kind of like this black. If there's a, an electron in p subshell, that means that L is equal to 1, right? Remember that? Remember the rule? For L is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, we would say, let me see if I can, would that right over top of this? So this would be an S, this would be a P, this would be a D, and this would be an F. Remember that? So if the subshell is P, then I like that color a lot. Okay, that means that L is 1. Well, if L is 1, that means that uh, L for this particular system are going to be 0 and 1, right? Remember that? And so N must be 2, minimally 2, right? That's the smallest number. Okay, so let's go back over here and say again it's 2, 2, and check it. All right, so if this is difficult, you might want to go back and repractice uh, some of the preview, the prerequisite topics that talked about the introduction to the quantum numbers. That is, what is n and what is l and what is m sub l and so on. Uh, do consider practicing that if this seems difficult because it is a little bit backwards, but it depends very much on those previous topics. All right, hope this is helpful, and uh, please keep the questions coming.